In this video, we will continue with the iterative process. You will find this on page 555 in the Namibia AS Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's go through a few information before we look at the example. Y rearrangement into the form X equals FX sometimes fail. I think I, I, I emphasized it in the previous two videos that you have to rearrange it correct. And they will sometimes give you a guide or they will say, show that. Okay, but if they don't, there must be a method to know that you rearrange it correct or not. So, the example of this has a root alpha between 1 and 1 1.2. We can rearrange this as x is equal to in two possible ways. We can basically, in this case, make x the subject of the formula, and then we will end up with this. Or we can make this x the subject of the formula, and then we will end up with this. Now, use both iterative formula with starting value x is 1, okay? Uh, could have been 1.1 also, doesn't matter. And determine whether one or both formula converge to a specific number. If it converged, determine the value of this uh, root correct to two significant figures. Okay. Now, let's first look at the rearrangement of this. It's just a picture. Now, the rearrangement of this one is actually, if you look at the arrows, it starts in the middle and then it goes, then the distance between them becomes bigger and bigger and it goes out. So from the sketch, it can be seen that the spiral is outwards. Therefore, this rearrangement will not converge to a specific root. It's not inwards. It diverges. Okay, now look at this one. Okay, I, I just made it bigger there. So this one is going in, in, in. So from the sketch, it can be seen that the spiral is inwards. Therefore, this rearrangement will converge to a specific number. Okay, let's just move it up. Okay, so I put one. I put it in this. I do it exactly like I did in the previous videos. Um, I put um, one equals, then it's putting it in, in the answer. And then you substitute the formula in. So you will say root, uh, cube root, bracket 7 minus 5, answer, close the bracket, equals. And then you press equal, equal, equal. And, and check what happens. It, it's just, you can see, there's no pattern. It's not going, it's diverging. It's not going to a specific number. So from the table, it can be seen that this rearrangement will not converge to a specific root. It diverges. Okay, but let's look at this one. Again, do exactly the same. Program this um, into your calculator and then press equal, 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 equal. So, if I look at this one, okay, so it's 1.2, 1.05, 1.1, 1.0, 1.4. 1 From the table, you can see that this rearrangement will converge to a specific root. 1.1, if you make it correct to two significant figures. Can you see? Correct to two significant figures, this will be 1.1, and correct, this will also be 1.1. So correct to two significant figures, as I said there. Okay, let's move on. Now, you can also, and this is usually the method that we're going to use, you, you use the gradient function to find, so you, you're going to differentiate, to find the gradient near the root, just as a sequence, the rearrangement can only find a root in situations where the gradient of y equals fx is near the, um, near the root satisfied. So after you substitute in the gradient function or in the differentiated function, you will get a value between this. If the value is between this, you know that it will convert to a specific number. If it's outside, it will uh, divert. It will not convert to a specific number. But let's test it. Okay, we take again the same formulas. We differentiate. So please remember, it's just a chain rule there. So um, let's just write it in this form. Maybe you will see it then better. And can you remember where I differentiate the outside? So if I'm going to differentiate... Um, then it's going to be, okay, that's f, okay, there it is, okay. 
then it's going to be 1 over 3, and then 7 minus 5x, and that's a third minus 1, so it's minus 2 over 3. And I multiply with differentiating the inside, negative 5. So there's the negative, there's the 5, uh, there's the 3, and then as soon as I take it to the bottom, and then it's the cube root and it's square. So basically, it's just normal differentiation. Now, use a value near the root. Okay, so uh, what, what did I tell you uh, near the root? I think in the previous example, I just want to see if I was telling you a value, because you take it usually what they say. Oh, there. Between 1 and 1.2. So you can take 1 or... I think in this case I took 1, but 1.1 will also work. Okay, so that's, that's where the 1 is coming from. So if I substitute, I say, oh, but this is negative 1, negative 1.05. Can you see it's there, it's outside. So this is smaller than negative 1. So which is an indication that this arrangement will not convert to a specific root. It diverges. Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same. I differentiate this. And let's just break it up that you just follow my differentiation minus, okay, it's actually 1 over 5x to the power. So this is a constant. It falls away. Um, if I multiply, I get negative 3 over 5x and I subtract 1, 2. So I use a value and then I substitute. Oh, and it's in between. Can you see? It's going to fall in this range. So which is an indication that this arrangement will convert to a specific root. So very, very important. Then write the arrangement into the correct form, x equals fx, is very important. Otherwise, the root will not converge to a specific value. And this, and I'll show you now, if you have, if you do an arrangement and you have one to check if it's correct, then you will differentiate, substitute, and then, uh, it's a bit long, and this is more when they don't help you to get a specific value. Okay. Let's look at an example. The equation has a root, okay, there's the root, between x is 1.5 and x is 2. Show an, an arrangement which will fail to convert and an arrangement that will convert to a root. So, basically, rearrange it in two ways. Okay, so if I rearrange it um, first, in this case, I'm going to make x uh, the subject. So, it's going to be e x minus 1 equals 3 x. And then I divide by 3, and I divide by 3, and that's what I got. Okay, so this is my arrangement. Now I'm going to differentiate. So if I differentiate this, I'm going to get this, because remember, this is just going to be 1 over 3, e to the power x minus 1 over 3. So if I remember e to the power, it's just staying, so that's why the constant goes away. Then I substitute, okay, they said one point. I had a 1.5 and 1.2. So 1.8 is, is in the middle, approximately. So I substitute that. I get 2.02. .02. Can you see? It's out of that range. So if it's, it's bigger than 1, which is an indication that this arrangement will fail to converge to a specific root. Okay, let's take another arrangement. So in this case, I'm going to make, it's going to keep e to the power x. Let's just keep it to red for the arrangement. e to the power x, and then it's 3x plus 1. And then it's lin. Okay, okay remember lin. And then 3x plus 1, and that's x. Okay, that, that I just showed you how they, to get that. Now I'm going to differentiate. Now please go to chapter 11, the rules. Can you remember? It's the A value, so that's the A, and then over the bracket. Okay. And now I'm going to substitute 1.8. Oh, excellent. And I see it's in this range, which is an indication that this arrangement will converge to a specific root. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just see if I move it up to here. Okay, it's going to work. Okay, let's start. Number one. The equation, and now I'm just going to first write down the equation, minus one, it's, it's as soon as I was taking a, a, everything to one side, has a root between x, and the, the, this is very important, it's x between one 
and x equals 2. So 1.5 will be a good middle there. Show an in the arrangement which will fail to converge and an arrangement which will convert. So arrangement that um, divert and the arrangement that will work convert. Okay, so let's start with the first arrangement. Okay. Right, now, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this the subject of the formula. So if I make that the subject of, I will take it over, are you with me? Because then it becomes positive, and then it's x4 minus 1. So it's actually x equals x4 minus 1. Now remember, I differentiate. Okay. So, and if I differentiate, it's, remember, if I'm going to differentiate now, and this is very important that you see that, although it's x, it's actually... It's almost like I'm saying if x is equal to only that side that I take. Okay, so this x becomes actually fx. So if I differentiate height, I'm going to get, this is easy, 4x3 constant just fall away. I still take the middle. So in this differentiated equation, I'm going to substitute 1.5. So if it's 4, and then it's 1.5 to the power of 3, and I'm just going to check to see if my answer is correct there. So 1.5 to the power of 3 equals times 4 equal. Oh, it's very big. 13.5. So therefore, I like always to end up with, therefore, if, remember, it's the differentiated, is bigger than 1, which is an indication that this arrangement will fail to converge to a specific root. Okay, that was the first arrangement, did you see? Okay, let's just um, get to read. That was the first arrangement. Okay, let's go for the second arrangement. Second arrangement. Okay, let's just get that. Okay, now in this case, I'm going to again take my equation. So I'm going to now, okay, remember, can I just show you? Okay, here it is, so nice. If I take that, okay, and I make x4 now the subject. So if I'm going to say okay, x4, and I take this over, then it's 1 plus x, and now I'm making this x. So first I make the one x, and now I make the other x. It's actually it's just as simple as that. And then I take the fourth root, 1 plus x. Okay, and now I'm going to, what do I always do? I differentiate. Now remember that fx, so therefore fx, it's just, it's going to be, I'm just going to get it in the correct form for differentiation, you know, always like that. Okay, now if I differentiate, I'm going to say, And that's now a quarter. Remember, it's again the chain rule. So it's going to be first the outside. And a quarter, remember, it's a quarter minus 1, which is minus 4 over 4. So it's minus 3 quarters. And it's just multiply 1 because there's just a 1, the inside. Okay, so if I simplify this, it's going to be 4. And now I'm just going to put it in here. And it's 1 plus x, and that is to the power of 3, and that is going to be 4. Okay, there is my, my differentiated formula. So, if I substitute now, again, 1.5. Okay, so then I'm going to get 1 over 4, 4 
1 plus 1.5 and that's the power 3. I'm going to show you how I'm going to press. Um, I think you, especially some of the students, are very good on the calculator. I'm just going to do the same principle when I first work out this and make it the answer. Okay, so I'm just going to press this first. So uh, to press the 4 root on my calculator, I must first press 4. And then I go to shift and I look for the root with the x. Okay, so that's now 4th root. And bracket. And then 1 plus 1.5, close the bracket, to the power 3 equals. Okay, now it's 1.988. I just press the equal again. Okay, now it's, now it's saved in my memory. So now I'm just going to say 1 divide four times answer, okay, so one divide, um, bracket if you want, four times answer, close the bracket, equals, and I'm getting, and as I said, it doesn't matter how you press it, 0 0.126, but do you see, this is nice, this is nice, so I say, therefore, if, remember, the differentiator is, okay, I I should have made a bit of space. So this border there. Therefore, it's bigger than negative one and smaller than one, which is an indication that this arrangement will convert, convert to a, a specific route. Okay, and that's how you do it. So remember, all arrangements don't work, or uh, making X the subject of the formula. Um, if you're uncertain, you just have to quickly test to see if your arrangement before you find that route.